I really did not know where this was going to take me. And what I did know is I can't leave a really good question alone. So I, I got an argument my, with my brother, and this argument had been going on for two years, okay? This was not a sudden thing. He, uh, he'd been a missionary, he got a master's degree in theology, and, but it was all unraveling. And we're arguing about this stuff and, 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 and trying to sort it out. And, you know, and he's just little by little becoming more and more doubtful. And finally, there's just a point where it's really clear that he's in a different space space. And, um, and this is just making me really nervous. And, um, you know, and I got my own questions, okay? Like, he's pushing my buttons pretty hard. And, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ambiguity in these faith discussions. And I found myself kind of feeling like, you know, my back was against the wall at a point in the conversation. I go, look, uh, you know, Look at the hand at the end of the arm. You, like, you don't think this is the result of a bunch of random accidents. I mean, this is one finely engineered piece of machinery. And he was ready for that. You know, and he's like, and it, we go to this whole thing about, you know, whether just mutations and occasional DNA errors uh, with millions of creatures and millions of years could eventually, you know, make the appearance of design. You know, now intuitively, I did not think this was possible, but I've had five years of engineering school and I know there's a bunch of stuff in science that are very counterintuitive. Like not just a few things, like a lot of things. And I knew I didn't know. I knew most biologists would probably agree with him and not me. And I'm like, I don't know. And I know I don't know. And I think I better find out. I think I need to find out. I'm going to find out. And down the rabbit hole I go. And, you know, like I said, there was a lot of other stuff that was kind of shifting around. And I really did not know where this was going to take me. And what I did know is I can't leave a really good question alone. If I think it's a legitimate question, then I can't just sweep it under the rug. You know, I've always said ignorance is bliss, but you can't unlearn a truth. Hmm. And if you if you learn some truth that you know that changes everything, I, I don't know how to just deny it. And so there I went. And and I kind of decided I'm gonna let science answer this question for me. Why? Because you know, at the end of the day, theology is kind of squishy. I've, I've spent all my life around theologians and, you know, religious people, and they can always change the meaning of one word and, like, start flipping switches and, and, and end up, like, defending almost anything, okay? And I'm like, you know what? If there really is design in nature... I shouldn't need like a Bible to tell me that. I should be able to figure that out with normal observation, common sense, and a few scientific principles. And if there's no design in nature, I ought to be able to figure that, that out. Maybe the biologists know something that the engineers don't. You know, one of my first thoughts was, well, they never taught me about random mutation and natural selection in engineering school. I imagine there might be a reason why. Right? If that's like an efficient way to get anything done, I'm going to find out. And, and so I did. I, I said, I am going to get to some root core principle. I'm going to find out, is this thing possible? How does this work? And I plunged myself into the void.